book starting from where I left off. The next morning, the stink woke up on the sunny side of the bed, side of the bed. He did not even count his jawbreakers or play with the mic buds. Today he got to wear the glow in the dark pajamas to school. Double cool with a K. He ran downstairs. He looked under mouth. He looked under the laundry pile. He looked on top of the bar. Where were his dark pajamas? Then he saw it. A great big ball and just not any old moving. A super galactic neon bright glow in the dark ball of not gray lint. Uh oh. If. If what he thought he saw was it, if he saw what, if this is what he thought it was, Stink was going to be as mad as I wanted. He ran him off. Stink, honey, she told him, I'm sorry to tell you that there was a problem with your new pajamas. Problem pajamas. Pajamas should not have problems. Rat dust should have problems. Brain teaser should have problems. Inventor should have problems. This yelled up a super galactic planet sized lid ball. I'm afraid so. And a little glow stuff rubbed off. Just to introduce you, look at me. My brand new Bonjour Bunny shirt. I It turned alien green. I look like a lime. You mean my glow in the stuff? Huh? Mom melt up the pajamas. The bacon was just black wavy lines and the sunny side up sunny side down brown mud pies. No way can I wear those. They could have scrambled eggs stink. I should try sending them back to grandma. Maybe she can take them back. You won't have any new pajamas to wear today. Your choice. Pajamas are going to be a big fat flop. Instead of way cool glow in the dark PJs, sing it to wear a lousy lint ball. Send them back. Those are big. Those bacon and eggs are toast. Mom still made him write a thank you letter. Mom still made him write a thank you letter to Grandma Lou to send back with the pajamas. Dear Grandma Lou, thank you. No, thank you, but no thank you for the pajamas. At first I thought they were for babies, and Judy said I walk like them. I look like a walking menu. Then I saw they glow in the dark and I changed my mind. But all the glow stuff rubbed off and now they look like scrambled egg. So I'm sending them back to you. I hope they didn't cost an arm and leg to take them back. If not, maybe you could fill them to museum of not glow in the dark pajamas. Maybe next time you can send me something besides. Pajamas. No more pajamas. No, but not jawbreakers. Laugh stink. While stink was writing his letter, Judy took the pajamas upstairs. They were there all chewing breakfast. Stink, I've solved your problem. Stink, Judy dragged Stink by the arm into the go closet and shut the door. Judy dragged Stink into the arm into the coat closet and shut the door. Hey, something glowed like a nightlight, like a thousand and one fireflies. My pajamas. What did you? How did you? I painted them with glow in the dark paint, so you don't have to send them back. The eggs are jellyfish now, and the bacon strip perhaps or electric eels. Jumping jawbreakers said Stink. Thanks, he hugged his sisters. This is the way coolest ever. No one won't be the only cool kid with in the whole second out without cool pajamas. I'll and I'll be the only one who glows. Does this mean I can have a free candy bar now? We'll see.
Sting found what just what he wanted. The Robo Pen 3000. It remembers what you draw and can draw all by itself. Cool doodle. I say nice things about your art. Webster tapped Sink 
Thank you. 
sincerely at the end of the day. Uh, Misty, at the end of the day, Misty read 11 pages from Sophia of the Elves' favorite chapter book about, um, about the brave mouse and the evil rat.
letters his friends those are four things that is all basically the whole thing of this book is made out of that we know this because he sits smack in a candy store it's him and his candy he's having a good time and if you go later on you can find his letters he makes a lot of letters you can see that also in the book that's number two number three is he cares for his friend he tries to make his friend webster feel better again when he discovers he feel he finds the letter was for him on saturday he was kind of sad he he knew what he had to do now to me that would be touching let's get on to the author's opinion oh, I'm sorry the author's purpose the author's purpose I forgot to mention this earlier it's for entertainment and a bit of learning in here like list of it idioms it has idioms in here how to write a letter and this kind of gives you a little bit of education and my opinion on this book is high I love this book. It's one of my favorite books. It's also very touchy. When he actually cares for his friend. I thought, actually, when I got to that point, I actually thought he was going to be let his friend go. Because that's a lot of what a lot of people do. So, I'm actually, I actually, my heart is touched from this book. Now, Megan McDonald writes many good books, and if you haven't read them already, you should. These are great books, in my opinion. Okay, let's go on to the air estimation. Actually, wait. I'm going to conclude. I've been saying on the main idea of the sporting details in my opinion by saying Stink cares for his friend. It's a touching book. It's really nice. Yeah. I hope you like this book. And then let's go see. The air estimation questions would probably be around 20, 15 to 20 questions. Not like the Pinkalicious books who are really, really thin. And you should. So, questions might be like tell us one of the idioms that are in there. Like, the earlier bird gets. No, wait. Oh, you haven't noticed? Yes, so let's go on to the questions. Yeah. So, if you look in the contents, you can find the answer to the question of 
tell us one of the idioms in that book and probably three or four of them will be what's not in the book i can't really tell you but yeah they might say what what a uh, bunch of idioms are not in there like kind of like something like that what is stink's reaction when he eats his he eats his incredible super galactic jawbreaker he is he's dumped he's sad he's not happy what problem does he have with his friends a problem his friend he missed his birthday party and his friend just didn't want to be friends anymore unless he got the answer why he why stink missed his party his birthday party Questions like that may be in there, may not, most likely for the idioms, they might be there. Um, now I hope you like this book. I personally, this is probably one of my favorites now. It's, it's touchy, it's touchy. So this is Hannah, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Amelia Dealey tries to climb today. I'm gonna go for another video. Mm. Eating video, eating tempura shrimp, fried mm. in. My mom fried it. I hear my brother and sister say so it's really good. Can I have what some does we do? Uh, let's go. A veal. Amelia would. Amelia he left it first. Those your pajamas. They're, they're not my soccer uniform, said Webster. But now would you know I got them for my birthday? Oh my gosh. I'll show you in a second, but Webster was sure. Webster sat down. Miss Mac, the librarian, held two fingers. The 
good show, good listeners. We are at Virginia Dare School, said Miss Mac. And remember, said Miss D, let's keep our hands to ourselves. Stink couldn't stand being ignored, especially by his best friend.
Those can be as mad as I want it. 